Hey folks, today I am going to show you uh, how to add AdMob to your Juice project. Um, so this video is targeting mobile developers um, if, and mobile developers that use the Juice framework. Um, so one of the things to know about AdMob is that um, it's part of the Firebase SDK, which is uh, provided by Google. And they have this system where they use CocoaPods to, um, it, yeah, they use this thing called CocoaPods. Um, it's pretty annoying. Um, it's not compatible with Juice. Um, this is the whole, like, you have to do this whole thing right here, which is pretty annoying. So I'm going to show you how to get around that using, um, so you can continue using ProJuicer and all that stuff. So the first thing you have to do is you need to download. Um, first thing you have to do is you have to go to your Firebase console and you have to make an app. So we'll do that. This usually takes a minute to load. All right, add project. Uh, my add project. All right. We go through all this. Okay. Continue. All right, we're going to add an iOS add or an iOS app. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, register the app. So now, this is where we go, we uh, transition over to ProJuicer. So I'm gonna minimize this and create a new Juice project. All right, new project. All right, ProJuicer, new project, GUI application. We wanna do iOS. Um, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna save it in my, uh, with all my programming stuff. All right, this is going to be, uh, my add project. All right, we'll just call it that. Nice and simple. All right. Now, the cool thing about um, ProJuicer and Juice and all that stuff is that we're able to do everything in C++, even though um, iOS uses Swift and Objective-C. Um, if you were to try to use this stuff natively, you'd have a big problem trying to go between the Juice C++ framework and then the iOS, either Swift or Objective-C. All right, so let's add our company name. For me, it's Mad Cat Music. We'll just add that here. Okay. All right. Okay, now here's where the fun stuff happens. Uh, what we have to do is there's a ton of frameworks uh, that get added, and I'm not going to show you the downloading process, but basically... Um, we're back in Chrome, add Firebase to your project. You need to download the SDK, and we're going to do it without using CocoaPod. So we're going to download the framework. That's going to go into a Finder. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, that's these two files right here. Here's the regular SDK, and then we'll download the C++ SDK as well. So you'll need those two files. So that's this one right here. And then if you go under games, C++, download the C++ SDK. All right? Okay, so once you have those things downloaded, they'll be here on your hard drive. And this is where you need to um, do some configuring in, in uh, ProJuicer. Now, the configuration is somewhat complicated, um, but that's all right. We'll get it working. Okay, so the first things we need to do, um, because the original... Um, the original Firebase is um, Objective-C. Uh, we have to add uh, some compiler flags. So the first thing you do is other... I'm sorry, these are linker flags, not compiler flags. Other LD flags. First one is Objective-C. Now, um, the next thing to do is we need to link a couple other frameworks that Firebase uses. So the first one is SQLite. And then the next one is the Zlib, like that. So dash L for link, and then the name of the framework. All right, cool. All right, now what we have to do is under extra frameworks, this is where we actually include um, the frameworks that we're gonna use in Firebase. Okay, so number one, we need to include all of these. And you need, um, because of how ProJuicer works, don't include the name, don't include the dot .framework extension in the name. All right. So we'll grab these guys. I'm just going to grab them into this plist area so I can work with them. Delete this. Oh. Okay. Now we need to do it. This. So what you have to do is for the analytics 
um, you have to use the analytics base folder for um, Firebase. Uh, this comes from, okay, here it is. So this means, uh, this means we need to include everything that's included with analytics. So we need to include all of these, Firebase, Analytics Core, Diagnostics Core, blah, 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 all that stuff, and then Google Mobile Ads Framework. All right, so that's the reason that we add these to Producer. Switch back to Producer. Okay, so we've got our analytics stuff already added in there. Now we're going to add the AdMob Framework. All right. These are the things that get added. Um, by Cocoa Pods, which we have to include manually. All right, so we need to add core motion. We need to add media player. We need to add ad support. We need to add message UI. We need to add mobile core services. We need to add core telephony. Whoop. We need to add security. You need to add store kit. You need to add system configuration. You need to add UI kit. Uh, you need to add foundation. You need to add core media and then GL kit. Okay? Now that in itself is basically what you have to do if you're going to use the Swift or Objective C bridging. But we want to keep it all C. So now, what we have to do is add the C++ frameworks. So if we go into the readme file here, we'll see that for AdMob, we need to add, um, where is this? Here we go. We need to add Firebase, AdMob, and then Firebase framework. Okay. So we go to frameworks, go to iOS. We're doing universal. Okay. We want to add firebase.framework. And again, we want to delete the framework file. And then we're going to add Firebase AdMob. All right, that's going to be at the end. All right, and that takes care of these. We'll put these in extra frameworks. All right, next, you need to set up your header search paths. Those, you're going to need to do these for debug and for release. Now, the header search paths are going to be the folders for. Um, the analytics folder and add mob. So we just drag this in, add a semicolon, drag add mob in, like that. Okay. This goes for both debug and release, like that. All right, now um, we, these uh, go in the same place for extra library search paths. Same folders. Okay. Now the last thing we have to do is custom Xcode flags. Um, we need to specify our framework search paths um, because there's no field like header search paths, extra, extra library search paths. So I'm just going to type it here because it's a big text field that we can enter in and I'll move it later. So framework search paths equals quote and then all of these, it's uh, the path to the folder separated by spaces for each path. Okay, so the first one we want to do is analytics. Add a space. Then we want to do add mob. Then we want to do our uh, framework here. So frameworks, iOS, this is the C++ one, like that. All right. Close it off with codes. Now this goes here under custom Xcode flags, like that. Same for release, there. Now the last thing to do is set our development target. I'm on uh, Juice 4.3.1, um, so we'll do this that 9.3. I have customized this to allow me to do C17. Um, I think that will do this for both debug and release. Development target 9.3. The reason I'm doing 9.3 is because I have a, a Retina iPad. And it's like an old iPad 3. And 9.3 is the highest operating system it can run. So this will allow me to do testing on that device. So that's the whole reason behind that. The last thing we need to do. Um, because we're doing uh, stuff with iOS 11, um, we need to um, we need to set it up so we can do uh, what's that thing called? 
uh, no aligned allocation because that's not on iOS 11 yet. And it's a C17 thing. All right. So right here we pass flag no aligned allocation. All right. Now that takes care of everything. Almost. We have to add a couple, couple things here first. So the first thing we need to add um, to this, we need to add the Firebase header. Let's drag that in the source. Okay. The next thing we need to add, um, if we go back to my project, oh, we need to add our bundle here. This is where we go to this step. All right. So my project can, under config. Okay. We've got our project name, my add project. Like that. All right, register app. Okay, now this gets downloaded to our uh, project. Okay, so it's under M for my add project. Goes into the source folder. Save. Okay, go back to producer. Now under these files, we need to add existing. So source add existing. We don't want to be in Firebase. We want to be in my add project source. We're going to add this. Now this needs to be compiled um, with everything. It's got to be added to every target. Okay. So now if we config, save project and open in Xcode. All right. We've got our Xcode project. The next step is under main. We need to follow uh, the base instructions to just initialize the framework. Um, now for C++, you can look at that over here under games, C++. We're doing add mob. Okay. So we need to add these headers and follow this initialization. All right. So in Xcode, here we go. We'll just add them right here. Um, and then we'll go through this initialization real quick. So the first thing we're doing iOS, so we need to go like this. Oops, this shouldn't be there. I should like that. Let's get rid of you, give ourselves a little bit more room. And then we need to get this ID right here. Here we go. If you haven't created an ad mob account yet, you can use this app ID to initialize the SDK. Okay, so we copy that. And we can use that in here. String ref Google ad mob app ID equals, All right, put it in quotes. Excuse me. Now we need to initialize it. Firebase add mob initialize and the string. Okay. Firebase add mob app and then Google add mob app ID. Like that. All right. And then we can run it now and it'll work. Oh, the last thing you'll need, you're going to actually need, oh, that's because it's trying to go to a phone. All right, if we just do a regular device back to here, All right. oh, did I spell that wrong? I did spell that wrong. F no aligned allocation. It's because aligned only has one L in it. Yep. Save. So the whole point about doing it in Producer is because it's totally portable. All right. Now when we run it, everything should work. All right. And we'll see a bunch of ad mob Firebase stuff show up here. Yep, there we go. Forever connection. All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So there you go. That's how to get uh, Juice um, and Firebase and uh, add mob to work together. Uh, in the next video, I'll explain how to do uh, the first add 
All right, so uh, stick around for that.